welcome back to another episode here on your digital makeover. My name is Jerry Lee Colbert, and in today's episode, I want to talk to you about Clean My Mac. That's right. If you are a Mac user, you should consider using Clean My Mac to help clean the inside of your computer. And no, I don't mean cleaning it with soap and water. I mean there is digital clutter inside of your Mac. And unlike PCs, Macs typically don't have as much clutter, but it does collect some clutter and you do need to clean it every once in a while. And so I made it a habit to clean my Mac weekly using Clean My Mac app. It is by a company named MacPaw and they have created this cool little app and I've been using it for years called Clean My Mac. And when you open it up, you are first greeted with a smart care. So you can do smart care, which is basically all of the whole system, or you can do them in just chunks. Maybe you just want to just clean up your um, space, like for cache files or what have you. Maybe you want to just focus on protection, which is looking for any kind of like malware and such. Performance, it'll increase your performance such as taking care of resetting your RAM uh, back up to what it should be. Then, of course, you have applications, which you can uninstall applications on your Mac, and you're like, well, I can just uninstall them myself. Yeah, but sometimes, even when you uninstall it from the application section, it can actually cause um, some files to be left over behind that it didn't catch during the uninstall process. Then also, you have a My Clutter section, which is not covered typically under the smart care when you click on that. So what do I mean by this? So if I go ahead and click on scan, it'll go ahead and go through this scanning process. And we're probably not going to wait for the whole thing to scan. I'll probably skip ahead so you don't have to sit here and wait. So I will be right back. All right, so it has finished, and this is what it found in my system. It says that I have seven gigabytes of junk that it needs to clean up. It says that I am pretty much malware free. Here it says that I have one task to run that will enhance my performance. Here it says I have one vital update to install. And then here it says, I have one duplicate download to remove. So typically I don't just accept its recommendations. I go and look and make sure that I agree with its recommendations. So like for instance, on the 7.1 gigabytes of junk, well, let's just see if that is true. So I'll click on review. It'll open it up and it'll show me why it says this. Now, if you notice, you have the red here. That is indications that these are going to be cleaned. If you notice, there's no red here, even though it does say I have 1.1 gigabytes of iOS device backup. But it didn't select that because typically you want to keep your iOS device backup. So it leaves it up to you. Now, if I click on that, I can, if I want, select to delete that backup, which I'm going to do. Also, universal binaries is so you know as many people are aware apple has an intel based um, computers as well as silicon based well whenever developers create software they create two versions of their programs or their apps one is for silicon computers and one's for intel computers well if you have a silicon mac why do you need the installation program for the Intel version of Mac, right? So this will get rid of those. So typically I just go ahead and select them all and get rid of them because I don't need them. And then I kind of go through some of the systems, the user cache and stuff like that, user logs, language. I already know most of these are uh, need to be gone. So I say, okay, well, I'm good with that. I'll go and look at my mail attachment saying nothing in there nor in the trash bin. So I'm good with that. So I selected a little bit more than what it had initially selected. 
Then if I look at the performance, it's I need to run one of those. So let's take a look and see what that is. Well, it says I need to flush my DNS, DNS cache. Well, okay, I, I agree with that. And then it says I have one vital update. So if I click review on that, it says that Downey needs to update from 4.8 to 4.9. Okay, sure. And then if I look at duplicate download, it says that these here are duplicates. Probably so. However, eh, I pretty much like taking care of duplicates on my own. But now that I know, I'll go look at it in more detail. And I'll probably get rid of both of them because I already know what they are. But for right now, I'll take a look at that a little bit later. So typically, that's how I usually go through it and decide. And then all you do is hit run. And it says, I need to close out of Google Chrome. Okay. So I'll go ahead and close out of that. And now we're going to go through the cleaning process. Seven years later. Now, it actually goes pretty quickly. But I am going to speed this up so y'all don't have to wait for uh, this thing to get done. Okay. So if you notice what it did there, it went ahead and opened up a um, Chrome because it had closed it down. And so once it closed it down and it finished doing what it was doing in the cleaning, it went ahead and reopened my Chrome. Now, if you look here at Clean My Mac, you see that my Mac health is good. Should be excellent, but it's good. And if you notice, though, everything is done. Everything's cleaned. But if you see here on the application, you see a little check mark right there. That means that this is still going. So it's still updating the software for Downy. Okay. So if I go over here to applications, you see that my update is finally complete. So I can go ahead and hit done and go back here. And now everything has been completed and I'm good to go. So this is a really cool way you can clean your Mac. Very easy. Now, I would like to also show you in applications if I was to go into there. So we'll scan this real quick. I want to show you cool little things inside of uh, the application section. Um, because a lot of times, like I say, when you delete stuff out of your applications folder, like a, an old app or whatever, it leaves behind leftovers that need to be taken care of. Now, I shouldn't have any now that I clean my Mac with the uh, smart cleaning, but you never know. I might still have some lingering, but occasionally I'll go in here before I even clean my Mac. Like I clean my Mac maybe once a, once a week, but sometimes I do go in here. Now, if you look here, it says I got three application updates. Well, let's go and see if that's true. Well, it says tick, tick, and drop zone need to be updated too. Okay. So we'll go ahead and quit those and update that. And chat GPT is being updated. So I'm just going to go ahead and update that. So you see, you can't always trust or rely on the smart thing for the applications. That's why I always go in there afterwards just to make sure that it was able to catch all of the updates that I actually need to do. Okay. So we'll wait for a tick, tick to get done. Tickety, tick, 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 tick. Maybe that should be their new song. What do you think? No, probably not. But I thought it sounded nice. Tick, 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 tick. All right. So we are done with that. And if you look here, I have 16 unused applications found. Also, it'll reopen Tick Tick since it closed it down a while ago. So it says 16 unused applications. So you can always review those. So these are applications that I have on my system that I haven't used in a while. So it's saying, hey, you might want to uninstall these since you haven't used them in a while, right? Well, I don't really want to because some of those I will use just, just maybe not right now. 
Look here, 347 megabytes of app leftovers found. So I should go ahead and remove those. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of those. I could have reviewed it, but I already know what they are. So, And those are out of there. And then if I look here, I have one gigabyte of CapCut um, that I need to, uh, it's an installer that I need to go ahead and delete. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Now, we're looking pretty nice here, aren't we? And if I ever want to go to manage my applications, I can go here. And let's say I want to actually uninstall something. I suggest you uninstall it through Clean My Mac. Because when you uninstall and Clean My Mac, it gets rid of all the leftovers too. So you can always just look up whatever it is you want. Let's say I wanted to uninstall Bible Study. I just click on it, hit uninstall, and it installs the whole program and even the leftovers that uh, normal um, uninstalls don't get rid of, okay? Now, if you also notice, I have the unused section. I got one that's a suspicious, but that's Audacity because, well, it's a free program, so it thinks it's suspicious, I guess. Who really knows? And then, of course, you have Selected, and then you have the App Store. Everything that's on the App Store. Everything other is all the other stuff that came from other vendors other than the App Store. And then, you know, so it breaks everything down like that, which is kind of cool, I guess, if you're into that. Updaters, there ain't none, and leftovers, nothing. Okay? So it's just that simple, guys. You also have an assistant down here as well. It can also do a few cool little things. Right now it says my Mac health is good. And like I say, you do have the uh, my clutter section, which go into more uh, details in case you want to delete um, bloated uh, Bloated files, I guess you could say, that are uh, quite big that you don't want in your system anymore. Maybe they're, you know, real large files and you just want to take them out, delete them. Or maybe you might find some duplicates in there too. So Now also up here at the top, you do have uh, the Mac right here. And uh, you have different things you can run off of here. So you don't necessarily have to open things. Uh, you know, you can just go right here. Maybe you want to free up some memory. You can just click on free up right here. Maybe you want to free up some hard drive space. You can click free up here. See what your CPU is running at. You can see your connected devices. You can run malware scan right from here. And you can even see your Ethernet test speed if you want to test it. So if I click that, it'll go ahead and do my test of my uh, speed, right? Which looks pretty, looks pretty slow. So, well, 366. I guess that's okay. I mean... I think it's actually better if I went to um, that speed test right here. So I bet you, I don't know. Let's see what it is. Maybe because I'm doing this video, it's slower. Who knows? Now, see, I'm really actually 900 megabytes. So I don't really know if I would actually count on uh, that speed test here for that. But, you know, maybe you do. And if once you're in here, if you want to go actually into Clean My Mac, you can just click on the icon right here, and that will take you right into Clean My Mac as well. Also, another thing is here you have the little wheel here. Go into here, and you can go into Settings. And inside Settings, you have all kinds of different things you can um, change in here to your liking. Okay, and maybe uh, I'll go into that in another episode. So I do hope you all enjoyed this short, well, I don't know if it's a short episode, but hope you enjoyed it anyways. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button right down below. And if you want to see more of these episodes in the near future, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. With that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.